We know that IVIG is useful in MOG. That's intravenous immunoglobulin. But there's another formulation that's provided subcutaneously. It's injected under the skin or infused under the skin. And we wanted to know if that was just as, as efficacious as the intravenous formulation. So we gathered some retrospective case studies between our site in Boston and Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And we found that, yes, indeed, it works about just as well as the intravenous form. And we think that the mechanism is probably about the same. It's just that the subcutaneous formulation has fewer side effects, less headaches, less aseptic meningitis. It is a little bit more in terms of cost. And it also um, can cause some um, skin problems and irritation at the site of the infusion. A lot of people who use IVIG for MOG, they require three or four or five infusions a month. And that can get pretty, uh, pretty difficult on for venous access and for all the infusion time and the headaches and uh, literally the headaches associated with the IVIG. So this is just another option in the toolbox for patients who can't tolerate the intravenous form.